Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today we're trying something new. I'm not sure if it's going to work out or not. Um, basically a get ready with me from top to bottom. <laughs> so anyways, bare faced right from the shower and skincare is a must. I do have uh, brown spots, age spots or sunspots, whatever you want to call them right there. They're starting to slowly get flaked off, but you know what? When you're middle aged, you're going to have them. So what, how I treat them is with um, dark spot corrector, hydroquinone. I know there's a lot of controversy regarding this and use it, don't use it, whatever. It's kind of hard to find nowadays. I do get mine online and I put those on the brown spots. And then after the hydroquinone, I go in with whatever retinol I have. I do have a dermatologist one, but right now I'm using resurfacing retinoid. And with any retinoid, you are supposed to stay out of um, sunlight because your skin is more sensitive. Do I stay out of sunlight? No, I do not, which is probably why I have, I have the spots to begin with, but that's okay because we could treat them. All right, so after that, I go in with a primer and I use this uh, Joie, I think that's how you say it, anti-blemish matte primer. And that's what that looks like. I think it was from Walgreens, if I don't, re if I do recall. So it's just like a cream formula and I'm gonna be looking up to the mirror. I'm using an iPhone, so we are not professional here. There we go. And I just put that anywhere that I feel like I might be acne prone. Uh, my hormones are all over the place and hormonal acne, as most of you probably know, if you are my age, um, is caused either by stress. It's not the whole eating sweets or junk food. That's not what it is. It's stress. Hormones and stress. That's what causes acne. Okay. So again, Joie Matte Primer. And okay, so the next under eyes... I got this at Marshall's last month. It's called Teen Again. No, I don't want to be a teen again. Uh, brightening Eye Cream Concealer with Vitamin C. And there it is. When I first bought it, I thought it was um, more heavily tinted. It's like super light, which is fine because you want something that's going to be brightening and light under the eyes. I don't like white. I prefer like a slightly tint, and this just gives me that. And then that goes under the eyes, makes it a little bit more bright. All right, hot mess. Next is foundation. Uh, I go back and forth between the Merit Foundation, which is a clean beauty brand, which I do like. To, uh, and then I also like this dupe for the Chanel Essence one. And this is CoverGirl Simply Ageless Skin Protector Essence. Um, my shade is medium number 40. I actually have a light shade too and about halfway done. So I just use a brush and this is by Essence, this little foundation brush. And I actually just use one pump. There we go. And again, I'm looking in the mirror and I'm covering the brown spots. I'm taking it up here. No rhyme or reason. Not a professional um, <laughs> makeup artist by any means. That said, I am a middle-aged woman, almost 52, and I've been wearing makeup since I was 13. And I took like a little tiny break, I think about a four-year break, which was in my 40s, if I'm not mistaken. I think it was in my 40s. Um, and it didn't do anything good for my skin. I thought taking a break and everything would be beneficial for my skin, but it actually wasn't. So I don't know. No rhyme or reason. Again. So that's that. All right. Kind of glowy. Um, I forgot to depuff today. Normally I use my um, gua sha to depuff. I feel very puffy today. And I don't know. Maybe it's the weather sometimes. And yes, I have so much gray. I need to color my hair. Maintenance. <laughs> Maintenance takes time, ladies. And you gotta determine whether you wanna invest in yourself or not, basically. Um, I used to try to do one day a week of just self-care. And um, that's kind of been on the back burner right now. Been focused on work and whatnot. Um, but yes, Milk Dupe. So this is the Milk Makeup Dupe. And I find it works amazing. It's one of those jelly, uh, jelly, jello, 
things that people are eating on TikTok, which is quite disgusting. But it works really good. So this is for your lips and your cheeks. I just, I don't put it directly on my cheeks. I just use this. And it dries insanely fast. So you got to work with it fast. And it just gives a uh, flush like you were maybe in the sun. <laughs> Or maybe you were super embarrassed because you heard something funny and someone embarrassed you. So that's what I use for that. I wasn't going to use it on my lips today, although I will probably... Actually, you know what? I think I have a short that I did use it on the lips. Because I did get it last month and I've been using it every day since. So that. Uh, I'm underneath all my artificial light for artificial light. And... <laughs> I think makeup looks horrible. I mean, I feel like all makeup looks horrible with artificial light. So I will bring you in front of my bedroom window afterwards. Again, milk dupe. All right, so next we are going to do, actually, you know what? Let's do the eye lids. And this is just a nude stick, uh, magnetic luminous eye color in Praria, Praria. And that's what that looks like. And this is kind of difficult to use because it's you're pulling on your eyes. And I know a lot of people, that's a faux pas. But there we go. Just a light color. Um, what am I doing today? I am doing a little bit of work. And then I have a uh, appointment at the hospital. And possibly the gym later. Which I don't like to wear makeup to the gym, but so be it. So that's what that looks like. It's very light. Next, I'm going to curl my eyelashes. Um, again, part of self-care. I love, love to do eyelash lifts at home. Um, you can get an eyelash kit for $26 on eBay. Not eBay, on Amazon, excuse me. You could probably get it on eBay too, though, let's be honest. And see, they just don't... This one used to work so good. This is that... Um, Shiseido one that's won so many awards supposedly <laughs> but I um I don't find like eyelash I, I feel like my eyelashes are rejecting any type of curl lately which is why I like to do lash lifts I had one done professionally about two years ago and it didn't last any longer than when I do them at my house and it was $150 before tip add a tip and it's like $175 and it literally just takes 10 minutes for them to do it. So great career choice, my goodness. They are banking it. So there, oh, there we go, I got some sort of curl. Um, but I do like to do it at home. Again, when I do it at home, it's not 10 minutes, it's a big song and dance because I'm doing one separately and there's so many steps uh, to that home kit. I don't feel like that did anything, but we're moving right along. I need to just have a day and just do it because I prefer to not have to take that step in the time to curl them. Again, great lash, great lash, very black, nor intense, waterproof formula. And I usually just get this at Walmart. And I think it's still the cheapest. Well, besides Wet n Wild or Elf, I think Wet n Wild is still, not Wet n Wild, um, this Great Lash Mascara is probably still, that's really pretty. One of the cheapest ones that you can get because it goes back to, I think, the 50s or 60s. And it's just a nothing fancy, just a regular bristle brush. Uh, I prefer just waterproof because um, it doesn't flake like regular mascara. I feel like every single mascara um, flakes. There we go. That's really pretty. It's very natural. And we're going for a natural look. We're not doing full glam today. And there we go. That's really pretty. Um, did I mention a lot of people ask about the eye balls are very white. I use Lumify eye drops and I do that first thing in the morning. And then sometimes I use, um, let's get it. Cause I forgot what it was called. <laughs> Epnique from the eye doctor. And, um, you could also get these online, which I think I got these online. I've bought them twice already. Um, and they just kind of open up your eye and make them brighter and whiter. So yes, Epnik, but also the Lumify makes it really good. I don't use both of them on the same day though. Okay, so that's just your basic light makeup. And let's see, we're gonna curl the brows, not curl the brows, we're gonna brush out the brows. I uh, dye my eyebrows and they don't really lot. I do have some gray in there already. And I just dyed them, um, I did a short on that, I think a two um, off of Amazon. I do eyelash and eyebrow dye 
Now that is super easy at home and I usually have to do that once a week, which is pretty crazy to do once a week. But that does only take like 10 minutes. So really 10 minutes once a week, who cares? So this is the eyebrow pencil that I'm currently using. No Novo, not a real brand from AliExpress because I never had used one with that type of point. It kind of reminds me of those pencils in the 80s. If you're around my age, if you're 80s girl, you would pull the pull the string or to sharpen it and it had like a funky slit like that. So this one, I have a scar right there that I tried to camouflage from when a, a fence, I was playing hide and go seek when I was, I think five or six and a fence fell on me. I was trying to get through a little hole and the fence I didn't realize at that age had a, had some sharp nails sticking out of it and it went in my head. And that's where that scar came from, which I'm sure I'm the only one that notices it, but it's there, so. All right. Not professional again, making them kind of like mountain. Mountain, but I do like to brush them up like that. Um, I have laminated them before. What laminating, what laminating brows is, is again, you could do that with a lash lady. Um, and it's very expensive, but you could also, the perm that I was talking about, about the lash lift, you can also do the eyebrows and you are putting on the perm dye and you're perming them so that they're completely straight up, not bushy. So again, if you like this look going up like that, then you should get them laminated. You can also get them tattooed on. There's so many things you could do, but do what you like. All right, last is lips and I should probably color my hair, but I'll probably do that tomorrow or the next day and I will probably do a video on it just to show you how I do it at home. Okay, so today I'm going to be using Ferris Nude. One, it's number um, 800, Ferris Nude, and this is by L'Oreal, one of my favorites. I do like that vintage smell that they have and this is just Ferris, Ferris Nude. And it's very light. If you're pale, you would probably really like it. Uh, there we go. And then I'm gonna to top it with a little bit of sparkle. And this is by City Beauty, which I absolutely love with hyaluronic acid. Uh, these are a little pricey, I think they're 33. I usually get them on Black Friday when they have the buy one get one sale. And this is in City Lips in Nude York. Nude York. Not New York, but Nude York. Oh, okay. Um, but if you want a nice dupe for this, smells not too great, but it does perform and work really good. Uh, there we go. There we go. And if you want to do, um, it's Maybelline Lifter. Everybody knows about Maybelline Lifter, I feel like. It also has hyaluronic acid in it for the lips. So it's just like skincare in your lipstick. So this is how it looks right now. And I think that's it. I'm gonna put some setting spray on, but I'm also gonna take you with me in front of my window to show you how it looks in outdoor light. So let's go. I'm not even gonna pause it. We're just gonna walk with you. And let's just see, here's my setting spray. And this is the Make It Last Milani setting spray. Oh boy. Woo, smells good. All right, and now we're going to walk. It's gonna get a little dark. Okay, we're gonna walk in front of my bedroom window. All right, this is so amateur. We are bringing back old YouTube days. Woo, look at that light. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you how it looks. Woo, there we go. Let it focus and this is how it looks in natural light. It's very natural, like it's, I mean, you definitely know you have makeup on, but it's more of a natural look and you know, I'm here for it. So thank you so much for watching. This is 15 minutes already. I'm so sorry. I wanted it to be a 10 minute video, but um, yeah. Thank you so much for watching. I'll be back tomorrow. Bye-bye.